I have high cholesterol and do not want to take statin poison. Uh, a friend is getting the cholesterol shots. How can I get the same? Well, look, I have this conversation almost every day, multiple times a day, the, the statin talk, okay? Statins lower the risk of heart attacks, lower the risk of strokes. And they have some side effects, which I'll come to in a second, but I'll start by saying that it's part of my job to keep up with the literature, okay? And I could probably make a career holding on to the studies that say statins are harmful. Some of them are well done, by the way, and not letting go of those studies and hanging on to that data and sort of be right. But I would be ignoring the thousands of other studies saying that statins are beneficial. So we have to balance out all the results and come up with a conclusion. I literally wake up every morning and I go through what was published in all the major journals and try to sort of frame my mental gestalt. Um, so there is much more evidence saying statins are beneficial than they are harmful. And some of the side effects, the biggest one that most patients are concerned about is muscle pain. And we used to think statins caused muscle pain in about 30% of people. But over the years, we've sort of been able to study this more precisely. And we took a bunch of patients and we gave him statins and told him, here's a statin. And then we took another bunch of patients and gave him a Tic Tac and told him, here's a statin. And more than 20% of the patients taking the Tic Tac had to stop the Tic Tac because of unbearable muscle pain. There's a lot of reasons for muscle pain. Statins could be one of them, but it's probably not 30%, more close to maybe 5%. So I will say, I think giving statins a chance is the right thing to do. However, if someone cannot tolerate statins because of unbearable side effects, then we do have other options. Uh, we have something called benpedoic acid, which is another pill, but the more well-tested ones are injections. Okay, they're called PCSK9 inhibitors. It's one injection every two weeks. And then we have another one called Inclisiran that is one injection every six months. And it's very efficacious they act in ways independent uh, of statin therapy. So not, they're not different types of statins. And they're quite useful, quite effective, lower the chances of having heart attacks and strokes. So yes, if you cannot take statins or are completely unwilling, you should um, explore these options. Not everybody is a candidate for these drugs, but you might be.